My name is Kennedy Roman Jr. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Curry, California. Drifting is coming into a corner and pretty much losing control before you enter the corner and then gaining control throughout the corner, I guess, if that makes any sense. Pretty much has to do a lot with uh, counter steering and playing with the throttle at the same time. So you just gotta find the perfect balance of counter steer and acceleration. You have to keep the car sideways throughout the whole time. The amount of money I put into my car depends the amount of money I have left over after bills, food, rent is all paid for. So whatever's left is pretty much what I'm able to throw into the car. And pretty much a lot of money has gone in through it, but it's over like the term of like close to four years now that I've been building this car up. It hasn't really been like everything all at once. It's been little by little, like something that's very important to drifting is having a good suspension. I was drifting on like blown shocks and springs for a good two and a half years before I managed to save up enough money to buy coilovers, which were worth like a good, like a grand or more depending on the brand you want to go with. And the brand I wanted was pretty much, they costed a grand, so it took me a while to build up that money to, to get that suspension going. I was very excited for my first drift event. That was something new. Like I had always done drift events like prior to that, but that's just like your your local drift events where anybody can just go and slide. It wasn't really a big competition. This was my first big competition event, so it was something completely new to me. So I really didn't know where I stacked up with all these like really really good drivers, were very talented drivers. So it was something I was really looking forward to and something I really wanted to do. Day one is practice and day two is qualifying. Sadly, I didn't make it a qualifying because during practice and day one on Saturday, my engine ended up seizing up, which means it doesn't want to turn over or anything. It just, just locked up. During practice, I was getting a lot of issues prior to the engine seizing up. I had my intercooler pipings kept coming off and then I kept having electrical issues. And then when I thought everything, the car was ready and I was going on my first run in my second session for practice. I was about to start going on the straightaway before sliding and then the engine just seized up on me. I just blew the fuse and I just changed it. First crank, it fucking blew. prior to the drift event, but three years of non-stop beating and I probably could have been on top of my game for my oil changes. I really didn't do much oil changes as much as I should have. You know, I was putting the money in the tires instead of putting it in oil most of the time. But you now three years of an engine getting beaten on, it was, it was prone to happen, but I was really hoping for the best but expecting the worst and the worst ended up happening. I didn't get to really compete, but I still stayed for both days and just seeing everybody drive and just seeing the level really like motivated me to push myself to like another level or like try to get there, get the car ready and you know, just have fun with it. It just 
really motivated me to just keep going and, and pursue this even more.